Hey guys, greetings from mainland China. Thanks for tuning into the video. As you know, England has been going through some really crazy riots lately. Most of you already know the background story. I'm not going to get into the weeds as far as all that goes, but what really triggered this most recent batch of riots was a stabbing that involved children, three of whom, unfortunately and heartbreakingly, passed away. Now, I'm not going to go into any details about the killer or his background or ethnic origins. You can look that up on your own. Although it is very hard to find information, it's obviously being suppressed by the UK government. And yeah, the guy who did it is 17 years old. So they're saying that's why his identity is being so well guarded. But if you use X, you know what's what and you can see the reality. You can see what the deal is. You can find the facts. Well, there seems to be a trend going on. And basically, you have a lot of people whose roots go all the way back in England. I mean, they are British through and through. That's where their ancestors came from. And I'm not saying immigrants can't also be British. But I'm saying these people are native to that land. And they feel like they're not being recognized by their own government. They feel that their government does not have their best interest in mind and honestly doesn't really give a damn about them. And so the people are rising up. They're saying enough's enough. And in turn, the UK government is really cracking down on speech. I mean, hate speech is one thing, but the way they're cracking down, it's pretty unbelievable. But in this video, what you're going to see is I went onto Chinese social media I went to their everything app. It's called WeChat. Obviously, you can chat on it. You can post to your own personal space, kind of like you can on Facebook or Twitter. You can post pictures, videos, but also through the app, you can pretty much do everything. You can do shopping. You can get food delivered. You can book tickets for anything and a whole lot more. Well, there's also a section within the app that is for short form video posts and social media. So I went to that section of the app and I found the video on the topic with the most interactions and engagements. And what I did, I went through the comments section and I picked the 10 most upvoted comments. I didn't go through and cherry pick these. There is no bias here whatsoever. I did it completely fairly. I just went through, picked out the top 10 most upvoted comments, and I'm going to translate those from Chinese into English and share those with you all right here in this video. So before we jump into that, if you would do me a favor, I humbly ask that you reward my efforts with a simple thumbs up. It's not that hard. A little clickety click of the mouse and I'm a happy camper and you probably feel pretty good about yourself too. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into these top 10 comments. Top comment number one. This was the most upvoted comment. It got almost 20,000 likes. To the people of England, keep going. Coming in at number two. With over 16,000 likes, this commenter wrote, And yet again, more beautiful scenery. Make it more beautiful. Lots of thumbs up. Top comment number three with just shy of 10,000 likes. The fate of the robber. Top comment number four with 7,000 likes. The British government is reaping what it has sown. It is getting what it deserves. Top comment number five with just under 6,000 likes. The British government won't feel the pain until it has been thoroughly burned down. Top comment number six with five and a half thousand upvotes. And this is a long one. Doesn't the West say human rights and freedom? Why use the police to suppress the ordinary people? Such a beautiful scene taking place. You don't serve the common people. All of the West's irresponsible remarks and double standards, sooner or later, God will punish you. Self-destruction, proletarian revolution all over the world, attacking the evil capitalist countries, poisoning the human soul. The Western people are really starting to wake up. Top comment number seven with 5,000 likes. It's about time it got to the UK. Top comment number eight with 4.7 thousand likes. Oppose war. People of the world want peace. Top comment number nine with just under 4,000 likes. 
resolutely crack down on the violent law enforcement by the British police and restore the personal freedom and freedom of speech to the British people. And coming in at number 10 with 2.4 thousand likes, <laughs> another beautiful scene from the West. There you have it, guys. I hope you all have found this short, concise video of interest. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content on the way. And videos like this are somewhat common on my channel. I might do videos on current events kind of from the Chinese perspective or involving China in some way. I might have discussions on some cultural issues because I've been here in China for over a decade. I know how China ticks, okay? I interact with the people here on a daily basis, but I've also got a ton of travel videos on the way. I've been on the road a lot lately. That's one reason I haven't been able to post as much. And I've got some videos in the pipeline that I'm very confident you guys are going to like. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. And to everybody who has been supporting me here on YouTube, I want to say thank you all so much. You all are unbelievable. You're amazing. You're great. Give yourself a hug. Your support truly does mean the world to me. It's such a blessing in my life. So with that said, I wish you all well, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Xiaozi, zaijian.